All right, guys, now that we've exported our model, we're going to bring it into uh, the game. Uh, now, I made a different model, but if you made a castle, that's uh, fine. That's what I wanted you to make. The whole point is that your character can move around in it. And uh, for now, we only want one model, just so we're learning how to do this. If you make your own game, you'll be able to expand on it. So what you want to do is you need to remember where you downloaded it to. That's pretty important. Then what I'm going to do is import to game first person, okay? And in case I haven't mentioned this, you need to be on the level that is your level one, okay? So you need to be there, not the one that opens by default, but level one. So this is mine, as you can see. And a few of you uh, have created uh, platforms, maybe for your, your castle. If you did that, just put it wherever that is. And one tip also that you could also remember to do, and in landscaping, I had talked about this, but you may want to uh, use the flatten tool to fix where you're putting your castle so that it'll be on there really square if you haven't done that, okay? So I'm going to go and import this now, import into game, and I'm going to go get the OBJ. So you'll notice there's probably an MTL file too, but the one you bring in is the OBJ file, and the MTL usually follows. OBJ is like the actual model. MTL is all the colors and textures, etc., that you put into it. And uh, don't put anything here. Leave it the way it is. And one thing I, we're going to do here, and I always think it's easier to do it now. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to write 90 degrees. All right. And if you import it as a one, it's going to be really, really small. So what I recommend is 400. Okay. So we got 90 and 400, and we're going to leave the rest this way. So I'm going to click Import All. It'll give you an error, probably. And this compiling shaders, you got to wait for that to be done to be able to see it. So let's click X. And so now it's imported into your project panel. Now, I didn't do this, but this is maybe a good suggestion. Uh, you may want to... Uh, um, oops. So we're going to go and create a new folder. And we're going to call it model Z, or, or buildings. You know, like you often games, things are structured that way. And I think you can't. Can you move them? Yeah, you can. No, you can't. I'll go move here. And I'll, you know, I should have done this before, but put everything that goes into it with it so that there's no, you know, you could put these in under textures, but since we only have one model, we're going to put them uh, in here. Actually, these are materials, not textures, okay? Um, so let's have a look. So we're happy with this. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag it into the game, okay? So as you can see, it's quite big. I could shrink it, by the way, if I thought it was a little too big uh, by, you know, scaling this down, you know, and you can use the WER keys too and scale it down but for I, I'm, it's probably okay so just uh, you know leave it that way for now so click w key so now i want to show you something so this is brought into my game so does that mean can my player go into the door well probably not and here's how i check so i'm going to go and click and you might see this by the way so i just changed it to unlit uh, because i didn't put any lights in uh, i'm going to go player collisions so Wait, it's a big block. I don't understand it. There's a door there. The thing is, the computer doesn't know that. You have to tell it that there's a door there. So this is what I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you how to do that. All right? So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to double-click on the building. And this will open. And we're going to do like we always do, drag it up here. I'm going to drag out. And uh, this is an aside, too. But if you want to change the materials you can to change the look so you know from asset forge you get all these basic materials but in yours you might have a lot of cooler looking materials that you want to uh, add um, that are already in your game let's just let's put this one just for fun whoops Took the wrong one that looks pretty good so this is my roof probably so i'm going to go and uh, see what else is in here there's a lot so gold do I want to keep that? It looks kind of... Anyway, so you can change those right there. So that's the look. Now what we're going to do is we're going to change this to 1 and 16. But before we do that, we're going to go to Collisions. And we're going to 
remove all the collisions that are on there. Okay, so that big box you saw, we're getting rid of it. And we're going to replace it. Now we're going to go down here, click Apply, and it applies something. But again, it's still not ready. So then we're going to go to uh, Collisions. Uh, we're happy with that. You can see the collisions, but we're going to fix this. We need to change complex as simple. So that'll make it more precise. And you're going to see right here, collision complexity. So we're going to go use complex as simple. All right. Um, I believe I could move around in this. And uh, you see the door. I can actually go in now. So it's really important that you click save. And when you go back to the level, you're going to see your, your thing. And I'm going to press play and shoot and have my guy go, where is this? So he's going to go, and you see the materials that I applied are there, but any errors that I saw are also there. So I can actually go into the building or up the castle, up the stairs. One thing that you may have to do, but for the tutorial, I'm not going to get you to do that at the, the beginning, is adjust the size of your stairs if you have stairs. And you might have to re-go uh, and build them and there's stairs also in this tool here in, in Unreal, but it's just easier to do everything in uh, Asset Forge because it's made, meant for fast prototyping of games. All right. If you have any questions, please let me know.